Yeah. Hello, this is Angelia, Tech Issues here, um, with today's Bible reading, which comes from Colossians 1, Thankfulness for Spiritual Attainments. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren and sisters in Christ who are at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. Mm. We give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love which you have for all the saints. And that's something we should do um, for people who we love and for people who are problematic in our lives, uh, rather than getting angry and accosting them and things. Pray for them, um, and you might find out that works better and if it doesn't um jesus said you know to pray for those who wrong you um and you're going to be heaping coals upon their head so you know maybe god god shall avenge he said vengeance is mine saith the lord because of the hope laid up for you in heaven of which you previously heard in the word of truth the gospel which has come to you, just as in all the world, also it is constantly bearing fruit and increasing, even as it has been doing in you also since the day you heard of it and understood the grace of God in truth. Because if one person tells uh, another person about Jesus, then they might tell another person, then that person might tell another person. And that's how this gets spread around. Um, I don't know what's going on here with my eye. Mm -hmm. We got a little gnat in here, I think. Just as you learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow bond servant. Oh my! Mm -hmm. Jeez. Who is a faithful servant of Christ on our behalf? And he also informed us of your love in the Spirit. For this reason also, since the day we heard of it, we have not ceased to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Um, and we can have that same prayer for ourselves because, you know, I want that uh, because there's a lot of things I don't know and you know, when you come into a decision and you're not sure what you need to decide, um, pray about it. You know, that's that's what I do. You go in there and I pray about it, you know. Um, and that's probably the best answer you're going to get is if you go in there and you pray about it. Lord, to please him in all aspects. Oh, uh, let's see. I think I, I skipped something here. Walk in a manner worthy of the Lord and please him in all aspects. Bre bre bearing the fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Strengthened with all power according to his glorious might. And the more you read the Bible and the more you pray, the more you get to know God. Um, that's something that I found is, you know, they, there's uh, some of it calls the living word. Um... But I might read a passage in the Bible one time, another time, another time. It means, meh, doesn't have really a thing. But then I might read it a fourth time, and it's impactful for my life. So, you know, reading it over and over again, um, it is a living word. It can speak to you, you know, uh, differently on different times. Um, and... Uh, it will give you strength according to uh, God's glory for the attaining of all steadfastness and patience um, and that's something we try to have um, as humans that's hard to be steadfast because you know like I said life blows on us and rocks us this way and that so it's hard to be steadfast in your walk um, and patience humans aren't great with patience we, we really enjoy instant gratification <laughs> So, you know, that's something you have to work on if you don't have it. 
joyously giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Um, because God chose you. If you were not meant to get saved, um, there was no hope for you to get saved. He wouldn't have bothered. Um, but again, that's your choice, whether you choose to get saved or not. Um, and so I am thankful for uh, spiritual attainments because I know I'm, I'm certainly not the person I was when I got saved at age 13. I have grown in my spirituality, thank goodness. <laughs> um, so keep reading the Bible, keep praying, and um, you will, you know, grow and learn more about God. Amen. That's all for now.